All right, so shall we get started? Let's do a small recap of what was being covered across earlier in the last session, which happened across last Sunday, and then we'll move further. Would request you to please do type in across the topics that you remember from the previous ses session so that we can go ahead and um, move further, guys. Right, and then after that, I'll go ahead and take across your questions and queries. I can see you guys did send me across certain chats. Uh, there were several questions with regards to your individual AdWords account and so forth. So let's do a recap first. Shall we do a recap? Not sure, guys, whether you're uh, getting my voice or not. You were getting right. Now, there's nothing in the chat window which you are replying in. Guys, do let me know. So, shall we go ahead and get started by doing a small recap? Would request you to please. Do talk across, do type in across the topics which you remember from the previous session. I'm not sure what's going on, there's no chat. Shall I go in and unmute you? Whatever questions, whatever doubts, whatever queries, guys, you have, feel free to put that across in the chat window so that I can go ahead and uh, take it further. I believe there were some questions with regards to your individual AdWords account. Today, we're going to go ahead and take across those questions, queries, and then we'll move further with our next topic which is advertising how do we really advertise across on youtube right so youtube marketing is also very exciting the way we have covered across search and also the display marketing youtube also involves across uh, some great fun Now it's clear, all right, Gorish, that's good. So I think there was a technical glitch uh, at your end, now you're good. And how about you, Chaitanya? Are you good with the audio and the video part? So let's, let's move further, Gorish, if you're able to hear me. Uh, I would like to get started with today's session by first of all doing a small recap of I, uh, why don't you go ahead and type in across the topics which you remember from the previous session. And then we'll take this training further by looking at the queries and the doubts you have. All right, I'll try to address across your doubts and queries, whatever best I can to the best of my knowledge.
All right. So Garesh says it was we did come across Google Display Network. That is absolutely correct. And uh, what all did we saw in the Google Display Network? It was also remarketing, I believe, which we covered across, right? What were the different targeting options which we saw in Google Display Network? And Gorez is out of which display text and display ad is being covered. The display image ad, you mean to say, right? Perfect. And also, with regards to the targeting, what all different targeting options do you remember? So what are all different targeting options did we cover and you do remember? Right, so targeting options. When we talk about targeting options, when you're creating across a display ad, a banner image ad, or any sort of an ad type, in order to show it across on different websites, which are part of the Google Display Network, how do you make sure that you're reaching out to your end potential customer? Somebody would be more than willing to buy across a product from you. How would you really make sure? What are the different targeting options? That's what my question is. Feel free to post that across in the chat window. Sure, no problem. Thank you, thank Goresh. All right, so you're saying uh, it depends upon the audience, all right? But uh, if we try to classify across the targeting options, I'll just go ahead and open across your account. And I think you had questions around that also. So we'll do a review of your AdWords account. All right, so Whatever questions or queries uh, you'll have, feel free to put that across in the chat window with regards to your AdWords account. All right, so here we go. We are there on the campaigns tab to begin with. Just to answer across the question which I asked, I would like to tell you by the answer to my question lies over here, which is underneath the display network tab. And when you're going to click onto the Display Network tab, there are several targeting options or the features which are over there. One is the display keyword. So you can go ahead and uh, give across inputs to Google that on what sort of websites the ad should appear across, right? And that gets done through display keywords. You will be punching in certain keywords which are related to what your product or service is all about. What Google will do in, on the other side, it will take this as an input and it will start fetching out those web pages only out of the entire Google Display Network, which have got content related to those uh, display keywords which we mentioned. Now, only on those web pages, the ad is going to appear. And it's quite obvious that only those websites uh, will show across our ads, which have been approved by Google, as in approved in the sense the AdSense approved, right? We spoke about this. The other option is that we can go ahead and submit across the name of the websites on our own, which is uh, if we are not sure about the keywords part, 
we we not sure that whether that will make sense or not then we can specify names of individual websites on which we want the ads to appear all right plus the other thing is through with the help of topics remarketing All right, so I believe uh, there was a disconnection for a small second. Now you would be able to hear me, Koresh, right? All right, perfect. So I hope you remember the targeting options now, right? Perfect. So let me know what were your queries with regards to the campaign which you have played it so far. All right, so I should go to the display part. Oh, okay, Chaitanya is back. Perfect. All right, so go. Koresh says display ad is not live as not approved by Google. Search ad is live. Let me just go ahead and. So, what is the overall uh, reason behind ad not getting approved? Was that this. The reason behind this approval being told to you, so you have actually paused this and the targeting was completed absolutely right, correct. And you ran one display ad, perfect, all right. Okay, Goresh, you're saying received mail but was received mail but wasn't to it, all right. Uh, can you copy paste that email right over here on the chat? Perfect. And Chitanya would be looking at your campaign also. Or it says some of your landing page and pages aren't mobile friendly. Okay. Destination not working. So your the email says, hello AdWords advertiser. We want to alert you that one or more of your ads or keywords have been disapproved. Unfortunately, we won't be able to show your ads on the Google. Our search partners are on display network placements until you edit your ads or keywords to make them compliant with the policy. If this is an error, we want to get your ads back up and running as quickly as possible and our Google team is here to help. Below you will find the reason why your ads or keywords have been disapproved at the end of this email. You will find a problem report. All right, that includes details about which ads or keywords have been disapproved. All right, so the disapproval reason is uh, Destination not working to help make sure that our ads are relevant, useful and easy to interact with. We don't allow ads to Link to broken pages, okay. But the same URL is running in search ad, okay. See what I can see. It also says that your uh, landing page is not uh, mobile friendly. So there can be chances when Google is not able to, uh, you know, detect that problem in the search campaign. But it has detected this in. If it's if it has detected this problem. All right, guys, sorry about that. So there was some issue, uh, again, technical issue over here. So let's move further. I was talking about that specific destination URL, right, which is working for you. Right, where's the chat? I'm just going to open it because the chat. All right, so Goresh, uh, I would like to uh, ask you to go ahead and create across a new advertisement with a new uh, landing page this time. Try out with a different URL. Can you share the URL which you have utilized for for the display ad?
All right. So is this the URL which we have utilized? All right, so what is the URL which we have utilized for the advertisement? Uh, do you want to share that? Is this, the, is this the same? Are you able to hear me? The one which I have shared across in the chat window, is it the same? It's the same, all right. See, the way you can really check for the responsiveness of a particular landing page, I can let you know. Now, if Google has actually said that this is a broken link, we can't really do much about it. We probably might have to go ahead and... Uh... All right, so have you revamped your website? It looks pretty neat this time as compared to what it was earlier. Maybe at that point of time and Google must have evaluated, there could have been a... It's same, okay. There are three web pages, okay. One is a group and another two are for two different vertical. And is the landing page, so is the page same in that case? When you say check on the right, okay. Let me just go ahead and unmute you. I'm just going to unmute you uh, for a second, Goresh. All right, so I'm not getting the option to unmute you. All right, so here you go. I've unmuted you. Hello. Hello. I am audible. Am I audible? Yeah, now you're audible. Absolutely. Okay. Actually, this page contains three websites. Okay. Actually, if you see in the right hand side of the corner, there are three links main website, ALDS website, and packed LPG. Right. If you click on any of these three links, you will go to another another website link. Okay. This main website of is of the main group company. Okay. ALDS one vertical and packed LPG is another vertical. Okay. And uh, is it like the landing page URL remains same? Or go gas dot yeah. ALDS. Okay. So, so you use the packaged LPG one this time, right? Right, right. And it's showing it's go. So this is not website. These are landing pages. So gogas.co, gogas.co, forward slash ALDS. So these are not website. These yeah. are web pages. Yeah, it, these are internal links. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are internal links. So why have you actually written across? Uh, website when you know that these are internal pages hello yeah i'm saying why have you written them as a website when you say main website alds alds website and packaged packed lpg so why 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 do you write in main website and alds website why the word website is written over here when you know this no, is actually it's not developed by me. <laughs> okay. Developer is somebody else. All right. See, so you have to now check with developer in terms of the bro link. This is broken somehow. That's what Google is saying. Can you try making across uh, a new display campaign with a different landing page this time? So this time you have used which one? LPG one, right? 
maybe try with some but same one thing is clear that same uh, link is been used in search network i yes i'm also surprised that why is google really not letting them hap- letting that happen so uh, the issue which google is saying that it is a broken one which i do not see even it's broken maybe try making this campaign once again but uh, just to be on the safer side don't try with the same uh, you know don't try with the same landing page this time try with a different landing page okay right and also if this doesn't really work again you have the toll free number right which google gives across right right so just uh, call them up and let them know that you know you're not taking help from anyone and you want uh, want to know from them that why this is a broken link since the web page is appearing perfectly all right i i don't see anything uh, broken over here everything is uh, on on the right spot everything is on the right spot so yeah. what is their definition of broken link let's try to understand from them uh, actually i really don't understand why yeah, so do one thing your next step further should be to create uh, you know let's let's create two more display campaigns so have uh, it uh, and in those two different display campaigns make sure you use different landing pages this time when i say different not the first one which you have used so second and a third landing page this time all right okay and see whether you are you get across success in that or not if not then call up these guys and ask them uh, what is their definition of a broken link right okay all right perfect so any other question which you have with regards to your uh, account no rest other things are okay search campaign can you just check and give some suggestions sure, i'll just check uh, your search campaign and give in some reviews give me a second all right so here's your search campaign and you've got 784 impressions and these many clicks cpr is absolutely fine that's the total cost i hope you're using across that part uh, the uh, code the con- the promotional code are you using are you using that the promotional code yeah it, it, it is it is been applied but uh, it not activated i think it will get activated by i believe uh, once you spend in uh, 2000, 2000 yeah right okay so the other thing is conversions you haven't set up the conversions so i think i have shown you how to set up the conversions right yeah right right so that i have not set up uh, it belongs to group company so i have not uh, connected these things with the uh, website basically okay okay but what is your objective with the search campaign are you trying to get across some leads or just uh, people coming onto your website yeah just to see how many people are coming okay okay but at the end of the day you want uh, to have your objectives clear that uh, just making people coming onto your website is is used only when you are looking for brand awareness i hope you understand so exactly right because we are manually giving advertisements in a newspaper okay for the same purpose all right all right i think then it will make sense to really go ahead and capture leads also give them across a form filler functionality to people who are coming yeah. on the website right? uh do you guys have a sales team who will re- go ahead and call up those people who will uh, raise a request and so forth yeah right all right so let me just go ahead and check the settings which you are done at the campaign level that was being covered across so it's 100 rupees per day you got the campaign start in the end date you got the location targeting its cpc and so forth okay it's all well over here and uh, location ad scheduled devices now once your ad will run you will be able to go ahead and see uh, for which specific uh, device are you you know getting across so since you have 
you know, till the time the conversions are not set up, you can't really make changes to your ads, so forth. That that becomes yeah, right. difficult because at the end of the day, your overall decision of making changes into your ad uh, comes in when you look at the common features of those people who are converted. When you look at those mm. features, you can implement them, right? Yeah, right. So you are getting right. ma- major traffic from mobile, and your CTR is also better in that case. All right, CPC is almost similar for computer and mobile. Yeah, right. You can any time go ahead and uh, increase the bid for mobile also. Well, the conversions haven't really come, so we can't really make make a decision. Ad extensions you have tried creating for all of them. Ad extensions for your search ad. Did you did you ad extensions are working? Yeah. Did did you create ad extensions? Yeah. Okay. All right. See, you've got the report for site link extensions. You've got clicks onto your site links also. So your ad has actually appeared quite a many times on the first position, and that's the reason why you have uh, got clicks, thirty-two clicks on all of them. Oh my God! Yeah, right. It's a, it's the same figure for all of them. That's why. That's <laughs> why. This is just a coincidence, and even the CPC remains the same. The click-through rate also is same. Oh my God! I hope nobody, somebody hasn't really done this deliberately by clicking on your ads. Thirty-two people have clicked onto it. All right. Nevertheless, Actually, the person who is visiting the page also visits other two page. Yes, right. All right. So call-out extensions, you haven't got any clicks. Well, call-out on call-out, there are no clicks which you can receive. So that yeah. hardly makes any difference. Structured snippets. You got these, and there are twelve clicks on these, and that's the overall costing. All right. So even your, you know, conversions, you can set it up on the landing pages which are connected to your ad extensions also. Yeah. You got twenty-one clicks onto your phone number. Did you receive calls on this phone number? Yeah, I received few calls. Okay. But it is diverted through Google uh, Google number. That's right. It's diverted through Google number. Right. All right. And did you try out message extension? Okay, you have tried, but uh, you haven't got any click. This is a pretty new. Right. It, uh, it hasn't really appeared for many people as of now. Well, the best part about this is that instead of getting a call, you get a message. We covered that part. Location. Okay. It is not done. Yeah. So with that, you have to go to Google My Business to get that set up. Yeah. Right. Location and affiliated not done. Yeah. Then price extension you cannot because your website is not selling something. I believe it's not an e-commerce yeah. site. It is an e-commerce site. Right. Right. All right. App, app also. All right. So app and review are the other ones. Have you? So app. I'm not sure whether you would have used it. No. Right. And review also. All right. Not. Um, let me look at the keywords review. Utilize those match types. Okay. So you haven't used any of the match types as of yet. The broad, the broad modifier. Match type. Okay, you have used uh, broad modifier, LPG in distributor. All right, so these are the. Uh, let's look at the quality score. Okay, the ad is not showing up right now. You have paused the ads. No problem. All right, it's good so far. I mean, uh, it seems so fine. It seems all well at this point of time. Things will get much more clear, much more defined and refined uh, when you have the conversion set up. That's very important. Then you can really go into the dimensions tab, look at on what all days the maximum conversions have come in at a lesser price. Look at what which all uh, geographies the conversions have come up, what are maximum conversions at a lesser price, and so forth. And then you can try bid in for those same uh, places for those same timing and so forth. Right. All right. That's great. And uh, what I'm going to do now, Chaitanya, I can go in. So I, that's uh, anything else, Kurish, before I uh, move on to Chaitanya's account? Anything else which I can answer or I can help you with? I'll create two more display campaigns. Right. 
uh, next week we will have a review of this. Perfect. Okay. Because in single day we will not be able to get. Uh, I agree. Absolutely, I agree. Right. All right. So thanks. Uh, I can put you on mute, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Right. All right. So Chetana, shall I unmute you and shall I go on to your campaign or to your account? Okay, you'll chat, no problem. Let me just uh, open a con open a concert account. All right, so here we go. This is, I'm opening across your account. All right, so what section of your account uh, shall I be looking in Chaitanya? All right, the display one, sure. All right, give me a second. So, ETH is fresh display. The very first one are you talking about? This is the first one, all right. So you've got these many impressions, quite a massive impressions which you have received uh, for 444 Indian rupees, 237 clicks. So that, that is quite great in terms of uh, every click is fetching out to be for one rupees and 87 paisa. All right, let me just go ahead and click onto this. It's done on a CPM basis. All right, that's great. Right, your it's it's on the CPM basis. Your bid clicks two thirty seven, and these are the figures. Let's try to look at uh, further more. Did you did you try out the remarketing? So let me just check the remarketing part. I think you did. You were running across a remarketing campaign. So the entire display ad has run actually onto your remarketing only, I believe so. Let me just check from the placements point of view. So your ad has got maximum clicks. So conversions are uh, not being set up yet, right? Uh, you didn't set up the conversions as well for this or you did? You did set up the conversions already. Right. So you haven't got any conversions then in that case. So. Okay, you haven't set up the conversions. So you got 11 clicks from uh, a mobile app when your ad has been shown across for Bubble Shooter and by Candy Bubble Studio. For Crick Buzz, you've got 10 clicks and 9,517 impressions and so forth. Your average CPC has been really low for this Bubble Shooter one. I'm not sure how much relevant is that. See, now again, the idea behind looking at this entire advertisement is to understand what good things were being done and what things really needs improvement. Now, I do see every option has been utilized by you, whether it's with regards to creation of the display campaign, getting up the settings uh, 
you know, settings in place, whether it's to do with the ad scheduling and device uh, selection and so forth. All of that has been done perfectly. Even the targeting options have been done perfectly. It's just that if we have to move further, we have to have conversion set up. On the basis of conversion, we can really go ahead and define across the next steps. Otherwise, up till now, it's all done perfectly. There's no uh, further improvement area, which I can really say right now. Much more improvement area is being detected with the help of the conversions overall value. When we'll get across information regards to the conversions. Right, and you're saying, but we can't able to see the display ad on live, right? Yes, that's that's uh, one of the things. The way we have a keyword, uh, the way we have this uh, preview tool for search, we do not have a preview tool for the display. We cannot check that. That is uh, something which we are, we would not be able to do. All you have to do is uh, you have to go onto these mobile apps manually go ahead and check that across all right somehow this is not getting played all right so i can see majority of your clicks have been coming in from mobile apps and this is all remarketing so people who have been to your website, majority of the uh, students who have been to your website, they go onto these different mobile apps like Salmon Songs and Easy Type Marathi Keyboard, World Cricket Championship, Bubble Shooter. So Baby Treatment Girls Games, Baby Shooter, Easy Type, Kannada, and so forth. So this is... Uh, you know, these mobile apps are automatically being picked up uh, by Google and uh, they are being picked up on the basis of what all different places people are visiting across, the ones who are already, the ones who have already visited across your uh, website. Right, any further questions which you have, feel free to put that across in the chat window so I can go ahead and answer that. So it's all good with regards to the kind of clicks which you have been receiving. It's, it's absolutely good that you are able to showcase across your ads to people who have been to your website earlier. So it's the best combination, you know, when you go ahead and run across search ads, and with search ads, you always, first of all, have people who are interested in looking at a product or a service which you offer, right? And then making sure that you are not, uh, not losing out on that audience in the very first go, you are showing them your banner ads in a stage two. So search first and then display campaign being the second one through the remarketing, this is the best combination so far. Otherwise, there can be multiple things which you can do. And I think you uh, were running across remarketing uh, in a different way, that you had a different campaign, different uh, ads for those people who have filled up the form and a different uh, banner ad for those who didn't fill up the form, right? We were talking about that last weekend. All right, perfect. So any other questions which I can help you with, which I can answer before we jump on to the YouTube marketing? As of now, it's clear. All right, so perfect. So let's, let's get started, guys, with uh, YouTube marketing. And when we say YouTube marketing or YouTube advertising, we would be learning this time, how can we really go ahead and promote across our videos. Now for that, for YouTube advertising and marketing, we need to have a video ad in place, uploaded across on our YouTube channel in order to go ahead and promote it across. All right, so does any one of you have got a video ad guys, which we can take across as an example? Or shall I do it on my 
respective AdWords account. So do you have any uh, YouTube Chaitanya for e-themes or you've already, we have already YouTube video. All right, you do have that. Okay, both of you have that. Great, so should I create it on Chaitanya's account to begin with? All right, Chaitanya, you have one video. All right, perfect. So we do need a video. Uh, we do need uh, at least two videos. One, uh, one video should be less than six seconds if it's there. Other, good, otherwise not, we'll... Uh, learn that part theoretically so there are two sort of videos one is uh, with regards to the duration there is no restriction onto it it can be as long and as short as it's possible the other sort of a campaign which gets created onto youtube uh, advertising is where the video length has to be six seconds or less than that all right all right Torish, you also do have that that's great so we'll be waking across a video ad right now you have more than three minutes Okay, no problem. So we'll, we'll uh, see the six second stuff later on. I mean, theoretically, we'll understand that. So what I'm going to do right now, we'll go to the campaigns tab now again. Okay. And this time, the campaign settings, if we talk about, it has to be, the, it has to be a campaign. This time, it has to be on a video network. All right. So let's click on to video. We are done with search. We're done with display. All right. And uh, let's start with a video campaign this time. Now there are various different forms of video advertising guys, which you get to see onto YouTube. Let me go ahead and ask you, uh, you can type in across in the chat window. Where do you see a video add guys onto YouTube on what all different occasions or what all different situations do you get that? At running time. All right. So when you are watching, when you're watching across uh, a normal video onto YouTube, then you in the homepage also you get to see that. Yes, absolutely. Let me just go ahead and, Open across youtube.com right now. All right, so the very first form of uh, YouTube advertising guides, which we get to see, is right up over here on the home page of YouTube. Now this ad guys is called a YouTube masthead. Okay, let me just go ahead and type that across. What do we mean by this? What is the name to this? YouTube masthead, all right. Now, if I'll tell you more about Mastered, guys, uh, Mastered is a sort of a advertising which is done only by bigger players, bigger players in the sense, those advertisers which have got a um, good, decent budget per day, all right? And this is a sort of an advertisement which has been booked uh, in advance for the next uh, two, three years. For the next two, three years, they, this particular Mastered ad has been already booked and uh, the eligibility, the criteria for getting this kind of an advertisement uh, is a budget per day. In India, it's been uh, spoken that 5 lakh rupees in 5 lakh Indian rupees per day is the minimum which you need to spend. And that's the objective. They'll give you a uh, maximum number of impressions and so forth. So the overall criteria with this is per day. Yes, absolutely correct. So you can really go ahead and uh, learn more about this. All right, so this is 
a customizable 975 by 250 pixel ad that runs on the top of the desktop YouTube homepage for 24 hours. Like I said, it's a 24 hour thing, guys. All right. And uh, this can expand also. It can expand uh, from 975, 970 by 250. It's the original size. It can go up to 500 pixels. All right. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, right, Gorish, I'm aware of that. So where do you want me to see that? Yes, it's. All right, so let's move further, guys. Now, we would be uh, looking at the other form of YouTube advertising, guys. And the other form of YouTube advertising, you usually get to see whenever you type in across a certain search query into the search engine, let's say, I would type in across a search query, digital marketing, that's, that's a search query. Somebody comes over here, onto YouTube and types in across a keyword or a search query, that's what you really call it, search query, into the search box of YouTube. The very first form of an ad is this one. So this is one of the form of a YouTube ad, guys. Okay, we'll talk about this. This is uh, one of the in-stream ads, so there are different form of advertisement types. We'll understand what are the names to it and so forth. This is one of the form of YouTube ads and the bigger name, the common name which is given across to YouTube guys is called YouTube uh, TrueView Ads. TrueView is the name, is the term which is used across for all the other type of YouTube ads. TrueView Ads. Okay, I've got a specific document to talk all about this. So the very first form of TrueView advertising guys is called in-stream or the video discovery, all right? YouTube TrueView in-stream ads or video discovery ads is going to be the first one which we're going to talk about. The other form of a YouTube TrueView ad, guys, in the in-stream and only, is the one which plays across before any actual video gets played. Now, if, if you will go onto YouTube and uh, try to see any specific video, Let's try to see any, all right, so there's a live video which is going on. Let me check if there is an ad which we can see before this. You guys must have observed this whenever you are there onto YouTube, before you get to see us cross a specific video, there is an ad before that. All right, so as of now, there was no ad before this. All right, so this one, can you see, I mean, this ad, guys, which is the skippable ad, you usually get to see this before the actual video gets played. This is the, there are various different names given across to this ad, guys. This is one of the YouTube, YouTube TrueView in-stream ad. This is the first form of an ad, all right? First form of a YouTube ad, YouTube TrueView in-stream ad, and this is called pre-roll ads. The other names which is given across to this is pre-roll ad, skippable ad, or the in-stream ad. The ad which runs before the actual video is being played across, guys. Okay? Now, the other thing is, the other thing which uh, you need to really keep in mind with regards to the in-stream skippable ad or the pre-roll ad and so forth is that it gives you an option to skip the ad after five seconds. After five seconds, the viewer can go ahead and skip the ad. Right? Now, the pricing mechanism is something which is pretty unique about this ad, guys. The pricing mechanism over here works on a 30-second rule. Now, the way we have been bidding across onto search ads, it was on the CPC model. On a, for the display ad, it was on a CPM and a CPC both. All right. Now, with the in-stream ad, this specific in, uh, TrueView in-stream ad of YouTube, this gets uh, charged on a basis of a view. So there is a view, guys, on the basis of which we as an advertiser pay money to Google 
and so forth. Now, what is that particular uh, view definition? Let's look at that. The view definition, guys, over here is based upon a 30 second rule. Now, I've got certain scenarios to explain this. Scenario number one, let's say you as an advertiser have got 35 second length of a video, video ad which you want to place across before various different videos of your choice. Now the way in our display ads, we were able to pick and choose website specific websites on which we want to show our display banner ad or our uh, whatever other different ad type of a dis in the display network. Similarly here in the YouTube ad, we can pick and choose those videos which are there onto YouTube, which have actually gone ahead and uh, again, get their web videos connected with AdSense. Over here, the AdSense funda is also there, right? There's something called monetization of videos. On the other side, people who are creating a lot of videos and uploading them on YouTube, they're not just doing it for fun and entertainment purpose. Some people are doing it also with another objective to monetize them. So we as an advertiser always get across an opportunity to showcase our video ad before someone else video. And that happens only if the other video is getting, giving across that opportunity. And that opportunity is given by them when they go on to AdSense account, their AdSense respective AdSense account. And uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm going to answer that. And they go into their AdSense account and they get that enabled. Now over here as a advertiser, what the 30 second rule says that when you will create across a video, let's say, which is, which is, uh, you know, it's for 35 seconds or more than that. Let's say more than 30 seconds. We're taking a scenario number one. Let's say you have a video ad, which is for 35 seconds, which is in any case, more than 30 seconds, right? Video ad is over here. The, Pricing which you have to pay is only when the video ad has been watched for 30 seconds or more than that. If there is a skip button being clipped, if the skip button is being clicked across by the viewers, when he or she is watching your video ad before 30 seconds, there won't be a view which will get counted and you will be not get charged. You won't get charged at all. So in this particular example, guys, of the 30 second rule, the scenario number one says, that your video ad, let's say, is watched for 25 seconds and then skip, let's say in this scenario, there would be not even a single penny which you would have to pay. Or right? there's not going to be any cost. In a, another situation in this scenario one, let's say the video ad is watched across by another visit viewer and it's watched up till 29 seconds and exactly on the 29th second, the ad is being skipped. There is no cost again, which has to be paid by you. Now, another scenario, another situation in the same scenario is, let's say your video ad is watched for six seconds and then skipped across. There is not going to be a single cost. So the overall crux is till the time your video ad is not, has not clogged 30 seconds or more than that, there is not going to be a single penny which you will have to pay. So it's absolutely a free advertising. The other name given to cross to this form of a video ad guys, which is in stream true view, true view in stream ad or the skippable ad and so forth or a pre roll ad, whatever you want to call that they are being considered to be free ads. Now in a different situation in this scenario where a visitor comes in and watches it for 31 seconds and then skips it, you know, watches it for 31 seconds and then skips it. Then there is a cost per view guys. There is a cost per view, which is to be uh, paid across. Hope that makes sense, guys. And that overall cost per view again works across in the similar funda, the way CPM and the CPC. You are being given across certain uh, recommendation by Google that what should be the CPM which you should keep. We learn this, we create this, guys. The other element is the other scenario is let's say your video ad is watched for 30 seconds and then skipped. Uh, now over here exactly at 30 seconds. Now your video ad was for 35, right? Your video ad, let's say the moment it reaches 30 seconds, your a viewer is there onto that and then it's skipped. Then there is again going to be a cost per view. Are we clear on this? All right. Thanks Koresh for acknowledging uh, Chaitanya. Any question you have?
feel free to put that across in the chat window. Things will get much more clear as we'll move further. So the idea over here to understand is the different pricing mechanism over here for the very first form of a video ad, which is the pre-roll ad, the skippable ad. So if I am Hero, so Hero is the brand over here, uh, the Hero motorbikes and so forth. The Hero motorbikes will be paying to Google only in a scenario when their ad will be seen by people uh, at least for 30 seconds or and, and so forth. So as you can see, well, this might not be so much visible to you. Uh, it might not be clearly visible to you, but the overall length of the video ad guys is one minute and two seconds. The total duration of the video ad in this case is one minutes and two seconds. So yes, sorry, it's one minute and two seconds, which means 62 seconds in all. All right. Uh, this is the total duration. And uh, I took a screenshot at six seconds. I took a screenshot at six seconds. The total duration is one minute and two seconds. Now in this case also that 30 second formula will apply. Hero as the brand, Hero motorbikes and so forth, Hero automobiles, they will be paying to Google only for those instances when the viewers have come and have seen the ad uh, at least 30 seconds and so forth. All those who have clicked on to skip ad, even at up till the 29th second, in those scenarios, there won't be even a single penny which would be paid. All right, now let's take a scenario number two, guys, in order to understand this process further. The scenario number two is when your, let's say your video ad is for, uh, this time it's lesser than 30 seconds, which is for 28 seconds, guys, okay? If your video ad is for 28 seconds, the video ad is, going to be uh, in this time in this case going to be chargeable in a scenario when it's been watched in full since the video ad in itself is less than 30 seconds so how will the 30 second formula will apply to this in order to understand this i've got i've got more situations the situations over here says in this scenario let's say viewer number one comes in and he watches the video ad for 25 seconds and then skips it there is no cost guys there is no cost which one has to pay. Similarly, let's say video ad is video ad is watched for 27 seconds, which is one second lesser than the total length of the video, guys. Again, in this scenario, there is no cost which the advertiser needs to pay. And another situation in this scenario is let's say video ad is watched for full 28 seconds. Video ad is watched for full 28 seconds, then there would be a cost per view. So we have covered both the options. <laughs> we've covered both the options that if your video ad is for more than 30 seconds long, and if your video ad ad's length is lesser than 30 seconds. Are we good with these two? Can I get a confirmation guys from you if you are good with this? All right, so we'll, uh, perfect, thanks, Tanya and Goresh, are you good with understanding uh, both the options, right? With regards to this. You know, now this is theoretical, we'll definitely, I'll, I'll share this document also with each one of you. Goresh, are you good? All right, perfect. So what we can go do, guys, is uh, right now we can go for a break. And after the break, we'll uh, take it further and understand the other major types, all right? So I'll just go ahead and put myself onto mute and let's meet after the 20 minutes break, all right? Perfect.
All right, so let's get started after the break, guys. Thanks, Chaitanya. All right, just trying to check if you can hear me. Right, so Goresh and Chaitanya, are you able to hear me loud and clear? All right, perfect. Thanks, Goresh. And Chitane, how about you? Shall we move further? Uh, Chitane, just trying to get across a quick confirmation from your end. So just doing a recap till uh, Chaitanya is back. We started with YouTube advertising and the very first form of a YouTube ad is the in-stream and the video discovery ad. And in between the in-stream and the video discovery, we are focusing first of all on the in-stream, all right? The very first form of uh, in-stream ad, the other name which is given across to YouTube ads and also I would like to tell you is YouTube TrueView in stream, YouTube TrueView ads. So TrueView ads, TrueView is a term which is used for YouTube in total. Chaitanya, are you back? I'm just trying to check if you're around. All right, so I believe he should be back in a while. So in stream ad, uh, the very first one, which is a true view in stream ad. Video discovery is something which we're going to talk later on. We started with in stream, and in stream ads are also named across as pre roll ads. They're also named as skippable ad. In stream, the pre roll or the skippable, why do we call that? Because they are skippable, and plus they come before the actual video gets played. That's why they're called pre roll. Right? The ads which runs before the actual video is being played. Those are called the in-stream ads, right? And I gave an example of this particular brand over here, which is Hero Motorbikes. They are running across their ad, and uh, the functionality which the viewer gets is to go ahead and skip the ad after five seconds. After five seconds only, the skippable, uh, the skip button really comes in across. Another thing which I would like to tell you Every time there is this, this ad comes across, there is a link on the left-hand side, which you'll always see, which the advertisers, advertiser is able to put in, put in across. So if I'll go back over here, this particular ad also has got a link. Now, this is the link of the landing page, which you can set up. And this landing page can be a web page. Uh, I mean, it's necessarily should not be the uh, YouTube video page or the YouTube channel page. It can be a page which is uh, of your website, which is outside of YouTube, in other words. You know, the other sort of uh, YouTube ads which we'll cover across in those, the landing page URL can, has to be only of YouTube page or of a YouTube channel. But over here, YouTube page as in a YouTuber watch page. There's something called YouTube watch page. Now, this advertisement is by Patanjali. All right. If I'll go ahead and click onto this particular link, the landing page, which is going to open across this, is a page which is outside of YouTube. This is a page which is outside of YouTube. Now, this is the page where this entire product is available across and so forth. Hope it makes sense, guys. So, Chaitanya, are you back? Really not sure. Shall I move further? So this is a small recap of what we have covered. And also, I did tell you that the way you pay across for these ads is always on the basis of a view. So this 30-second rule, this applies for calculation 
this applies to calculation of a view all right so 30 second rule applies to define it is applied in order to define when does a view gets counted and the overall pricing over here like i spoke about it's always on a view which we have to pay across money so scenario 1 video ad let's say is for 35 seconds which is more than 30 second right if video ad is greater than or equal to uh 30 seconds this is the scenario number 1 if your video ad is let's say 35 38 40 whatever so we've taken a hypothetical figure over here which is 35 since this in scenario 1 video ad is greater than or equal to 30 seconds which we are taking across now if the video has been watched across so let's say 25 29 6 seconds and so forth there is not going to be a single penny but if it's watched for the moment it crosses 30 seconds it's been watched by the viewer a specific viewer for 30 seconds there is going to be a view which will get counted so there is going to be cost per view similarly in scenario 2 if if the video is for less than 30 seconds let's say it's for 28 seconds then uh, in that case the way video is going to be count the view is going to be counted across as uh the full video when it's been uh, seen and viewed across so if video ad is watched across in full for 28 seconds which, which, which is the length of the video then there is going to be a cost per view otherwise if it's less than that even if it's 1 second less than that then there is no cost all right so this is just a recap before the break we understood this can i get a confirmation from chitanya if you are able to hear me then i can go ahead and move on to the other portion are you able to hear me chetanya gorish you are there right shall i continue all right perfect all right so i'll move ahead uh, assuming that chetanya is right up over here the other form of a youtube ad video discovery is the second one which i'll go ahead and talk about as we'll move further as of now you can uh, uh, ignore video discovery that will talk later this so there are two major forms one is in stream and video and underneath in stream and video there are uh, two sub categorization so this is one of the category in stream and video and sub categorization underneath in that is in stream and video discovery video uh, in stream is something which we have covered video discovery is something which i am uh, parking across right now we can we'll take it later on the second major categorization of youtube to view ads is called bumper ad this is a new form of an ad the other name which is given across to the youtube to view bumper ad is the 6 second video ads the 6 second video ad now what happens with this 6 second video ad first of all as the name says 6 second we cannot go ahead and create across uh, an ad with a video which is longer than 6 second a video which is longer than 6 second we cannot create across an ad around that so let's move further down you know when we will be creating a cross our uh, youtube to view ad we'll get this we'll get this option of uh, choosing either the in stream or video discovery ad or we'll get an option of choosing a cross bumper ad which is a second so this is what i told you for the very first category in stream or video discovery in stream is covered but video discovery is to be covered across we have taken across bumper ad 6 second video ad now the pricing mechanism for bumper ad what it works across is again on a cpm basis the way our display ad work the way our display ad work across right which is we pay across on cost per 1000 impressions all right and i believe you remember what do we mean by impressions right the moment a specific ad is shown across to a visitor or a viewer that's what you that's what we really go ahead and uh, call it across as a impression right now for an example let's say uh, if you are paying 1 dollar per cpm it means we will be paying either 1 dollar or less than that because this is our bid right if we are bidding across 1 dollar it means that's the maximum which we are willing to pay so if you are paying 1 dollar 
if you are willing to pay one dollar, either we'll get charged one dollar or lesser than that, and that will be charged across for thousand times our ad has been displayed. All right, thousand times our ad has been displayed, right? So we'll be paying either one dollar or less that too for uh, that for one thousand times my ad has been displayed. Or if Chetanya says in CPM, if anyone clicks on the ad, it will get charged. No, as many clicks happens, there won't be any charge in that case. All right. Okay. Thanks, Chitanya, for replying in. Uh, I wasn't sure whether you were listening to me earlier, so I kept on asking whether if you can reply back, reply in. All right. So that's good that you are here. So bumper ads, guys. The pricing mechanism over here works across on CPM. The other thing which uh, I would like to tell you is that it's only the six-second video ads. Video ads lesser than that only can uh, be advertised over here. Okay. Now, the other part with the video, uh, this bumper ad, guys, is that the bumper ads are very much like, are very much like, uh, what do you say, the in-stream ads, the in-stream or the, you can say the pre-roll or the skippable ads. Right, in stream, pre roll, or the skippable ads. And the only difference, there are a couple of differences, but rather I would say between bumper ad and in stream ad is everything is same in between uh, what we saw. In the in-stream ad and what we are trying to learn over here which is the bumper ad the only there are two major things which are different over here first of all the bumper ads length so ad length basically is the first one so one second i'm just going to go ahead and uh, lay out across a table First of all is the length of the video ad, guys. Now with in-stream, there is no limit. There is no limit to the video ad length, all right? It could be any, all right, one second. And with the bumper ad, the video length is a restriction, video length has to be either six seconds or less than six seconds, guys. Now, these are pretty fast ones. I mean, all right. Now, the other part is, all right, so there is not just uh, two, rather three of them. The placement, the overall, uh, where the ad appears, So over here with in-stream, the video ad always appears before the actual video gets played, guys. Whereas with the bumper ads, video ad appears either before or in between or after the actual video is played, guys. All right. This is uh, another differentiation, guys. Now the there are two more which I like to mark over here. Now the one is other one is the skippable functionality. 
these ads are skippable by viewer only after 5 seconds all right whereas the bumper ads cannot be skipped guys all right otherwise most of the things the targeting and also and all that stuff is all similar and there is another one which is the pricing mechanism pricing or the bidding you can say the bidding over here with the in stream bidding is done on cpv which is in other words for cost per view basis guys and whereas with bumper ads bidding over here on cpm which is cost per 1000 impressions basis guys hope it makes sense are we clear with this guys so these are the two most easiest one to understand i'll go ahead and share this are we good with this chitanya and goresh are you good with the, the uh, overall differentiation between these two can i get a confirmation again please cost per one view that is correct chitanya absolutely cost per one view over here right so when we say cost per view it's uh, Uh, when it's not mentioned, it's for one only, and over here, since uh, it is more than one, so that's why we have thousand mentioned over here. All right, Gorish, are you clear? Let me know if, in case you have a question around it. So, length of the video ad is something which is of difference. Where the ad appears for in-stream ad or the pre-roll ad, whatever you want to call that, it is uh, only at the beginning. sure i am repeating again sure so here are the major differences between in stream and bumper the in stream ads is something which we covered first all right i did made you understand the in stream ads are also called the skippable ads right or they are also right with the bumper ads the bumper ads are also are uh, the other name which is given across to them is the 6 second video ad with the 6 second video ad see the targeting and everything is going to be same the only thing which is different uh, in bumper ad is that first of all the video length cannot be greater than 6 second it has to be either 6 second or less than that the other thing with bumper ad is that that the video ad can appear either before an actual video or in between the actual video or after the actual video is played you see the in stream ads in stream video ads they come before the actual video is played right whereas the video bumper ads they are being played the 6 second ones and they can be multiple they are the other part there is another uh, differentiation is how many of these ads appear within one video so the this is only once so the in stream ads are only they they will appear only once which is before the actual video whereas the bumper ads there can be there can be multiple 6 second vid videos there can be multiple 6 second video ads within a specific actual video so what i mean to say is i am repeating again this point which i am trying to say that the that whenever there is a video so there was this video guys which i was trying to open across now this in stream ad is appearing only it's going to appear only once okay it's going to it's going to appear only once which is at the beginning of the actual video this is the in stream ad of patanjali 
Whereas if it would have been bumper ad, bumper ad, which is a six second video ad, it could come in the beginning, then another, then there could be a second time it will come, which will in the middle again, then again at certain interval, then again at certain interval. Let's say that it comes in across 10 times in a space within the specific video and also at the end also. So the video bumper ad, the bumper video ad, which is the second, second, six second one can come in multiple times. It can come multiple times, guys. Whereas the very first one, which is the in stream ad, it's gonna come only once before an actual video has been played. I hope that is getting clear, guys. The other part portion, the other part which differenti differentiates the YouTube in stream ad and the bumper ad is that the video with the in stream ad, it always appears before the actual video. We just saw, we just spoke about and understood that it appears either before or in between or after the actual video. So this could be also, it can come in multiple times also. With the in-stream ad, they are skippable. These ads are skippable by viewer only after five seconds of the video ad is watched. Right. Whereas if we talk about the bumper ads, bumper ads, which is the six second video ad, they cannot be skipped at all. These are pretty small ads. You do not get across as a visitor. You do not get across an option to skip them. All right. The next thing guys is the pricing part. The pricing with the in-stream ad, it's cost per view basis. Whereas with the, uh, the bidding basically and the cost both and the video ads, the video of this, uh, bumper ads are on the cost per thousand impressions. Thousand times this particular ad is going to be shown. There's going to be a cost which will be deducted. I hope it makes sense, guys. Let me know if, in case there's any further query. Now, the last one is how many of these ads? Now you're clear. All right. How many of these ads appear within one video? It could be multiple one when it comes down to bumper ads. Whereas with the skippable one, it can appear only once before the actual video. All right, so we'll be going ahead and creating this across, guys, uh, creating the ads, all right? So what I'll do right now. One. I'll talk about the other form of ad, guys, which is the video discovery. Now, video discovery was part of, video discovery was part of the in-stream, in-stream of video, which is the first major form. I'll go ahead and show you what are the different formats of video discovery. All right. I think I'll show you uh, with the examples only. So this is, let me just take a screenshot of this. Okay, I would like to tell you this particular uh, section on the right hand side of this in stream guide, guys. This is called a companion banner. So, the one which you're seeing over here, which I have circled right now, that's called companion banner, guys. This is something which we as an advertiser either we have to create on our own or uh, YouTube can also create for us. YouTube can create for us. And this is something which always add more value to your entire advertisement, right? This is again, uh, with regards to the in-stream ad guys, within the in-stream ad, we do get across as an, uh, an option of creating across a companion banner and uploading it across. When we'll, doing, when we'll be doing across the live demonstration, we'll see this. Or it's a companion banner is another thing, guys. All right.
All right, so video discovery is now what I have to tell you more about. And the very first format of video discovery, guys, is this one. So there are four major, there are four major subcategorization underneath video discovery also. Underneath video discovery ads also, there are four major formats. The very first one is this. So this is one of the form of video discovery ad, guys. What all things are being shown over here? As an advertiser, we have to set up across a thumbnail, a thumbnail will ha which has to be set up across and we have to upload across thumbnail, which is this video thumbnail, the image, the static image, all right? Plus, this part, which is the headline. Headline has to be there, and then there is another one, which is the other element to this is, this is the description. And how do we know that this is an ad, guys? because of because of this particular tab which says add the yellow tab all right now this is one of the form of one of the form of video discovery ad All right, so I'll just go ahead and put this across in the Word document again. So this is this one and the one which I had shown you just now, they both are same, which comes right after you have searched across something in the YouTube search results. So this is one of the video discovery ad which comes in once you have put in across a search query in the YouTube search results. So this is one of the form of video discovery ad. All right, let me go ahead and uh, show you the other form of video discovery ad, all right? So let me just go ahead and play across a couple of videos and then try to show you uh, the, various other, the various other video discovery ads. So I'm just gonna be playing across certain videos to check uh, where the video discovery ads are coming in. But yeah, uh, Ritesh, before that, I must congratulate you. All right, so I'm just going to look for some other. All right, so I am not going to get them so easily. So <laughs> these ads don't really come in so easily, guys. You have to really, uh, when you're looking for them, you have to hunt for them. Well, this is an in-stream ad, which is coming in right up over here again. The All right, so this is one form of a video discovery ad, guys, which you're seeing right up over here. Over here. The ad, so in the previous one, guys, in the previous example, the ad which we saw was there on the YouTube search result. All right. Now we have an ad on the right hand side. When I'm watching across any specific video, and I'm watching a specific any specific video, guys, on the right hand side, if an ad comes in, which is also called a related video, this is a second way, a second another categorization of a video discovery. So you can go ahead and put in across your video discovery ad, guys, another video discovery ad. On the right hand side, 
let me just see if I can get a change in this and I'll play the video further. So as the overall content of the video keeps getting played, the related videos add also gets changed. All right, so this is second form of a video discovery ad, guys. Second form of a video discovery ad, guys, and that's what you really call it as a related videos. This is another format of video discovery. This particular one. I have this, I have this in my document again, and let me show you. All right, so something like this. So related video example, video ads which comes on the right hand side, they are referred as related videos, all right? This one, this is a one format of video discovery. Related video is one format of video discovery ad, guys. The other format of video discovery, the third one is the true view video discovery ad underneath that is the overlay ad, the banner ad. So this is an overlay ad, guys. An overlay, a overlay stands for, overlay ad is also called across as a banner ad, guys, which comes at the bottom of any regular video gets, which gets played. You must have already seen this. Whenever you play across any specific video on YouTube, on the bottom, you do get to see across a banner ad, right? This banner ad is also created whenever you will get into the video discovery option, okay? So all in all, you have seen three of them. I do want to, uh, get to see this banner ad i'm just trying to find if i can make you see a live banner ad this is one more example of uh, true view in stream so true view in stream is something which is quite popular if if you try you know much more than any other so i'm taking across more screen grabs of these All right, so if I'm gonna play across the actual video, I am skipping this at present. There should be a banner ad. That is something which is called the overlay ad. All right, so if you're not getting it so easily, we can skip it. We can, we can go further ahead. I can do a search around it. All right, so all of these are overlay ads, guys, which you're seeing right up over here in the images section. Right, this is an overlay ad, which is a bumper ad. Oh, sorry, uh, a video discovery ad. Hope it makes sense. So there are three formats of video discovery ad which i have shown you so far one of the major one of the form of video discovery is the ad which can is is uh is your ad which can come on the right hand side of any particular video which gets played so there is any video which is on the left hand side which is getting played on the right hand side your video ad can come as a related video so this is one form of video discovery right this one the other form of video discovery ad guys is the true is the overlay ad which is also called the banner ad right so this this particular thing and the other form of video discovery ad guys is when your advertisement appears across in the youtube search results all right in the youtube search results which i have also shown you so only the banner ad i have not been able to show you all right and plus the video discovery ads guys also the fourth part, the fourth part of the video discovery ad guys, 
is uh, when your ads, when your video ads get shown across on third party websites. These third party websites are those same websites which are part of the Google Display Network. Now in certain videos, instead of a banner ad, you can get to see a YouTube player being embedded. So let's say any specific video, any specific website has got a YouTube player embedded on it and they are running their video onto it. But on that particular video, your video ad appears, that is a video discovery. So that's uh, the fourth major form of video discovery. We'll go ahead and create these four. Let's start with creating across the very first one, guys, which is the video discovery. Are you good with all these first? Let me ask you. All right. So what we have to do is we have to go back to our AdWords account. Can I get the video link, uh, Chitanya? I think this is your account, yes. The video ad link, which you want to promote across. Now the targeting guys actually works in the same procedure. The targeting of your video ad works in the same procedure as the display ad worked. What happened with the display ad? We were getting a, we got the display ad targeting in regards to uh, interest in remarketing. We got the demographics as the targeting uh, topics, user interest, display keywords, and so forth. Same stuff we'll get over here. With regards to the uh, what do you call placement section, we will be getting across names of and URLs of the actual videos before we want to show across our video ad. That is also possible. All right, see, well, creation of these ads will take time. I think we, I can go ahead and take uh, furthermore questions, guys. Creation of the ads we'll do tomorrow. If there are any further questions with regards to whatever we have covered earlier, whether it's to do with SEO or with Google AdWords, you can uh, let me know that so that I can go ahead and uh, answer that respectively. As of now, clear, all right. Uh, you, have you guys received across your website? You haven't yet. All right, so I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, so he's not been well. Yeah, that, that is correct. So I'm gonna let you know this week, uh, it's gonna be, some other person will help you with, with the website and so forth. He's uh, gone for some medical uh, stuff and so forth. So he's, he's not keeping well. I'm not, I'm, I don't have much more information, but what I can tell you is that I'll uh, get you connected with another resource who will help you to get across the domain and hosting. Once you'll get the domain and hosting and the WordPress panel, guys, I would request you to do refer to the recordings, previous recordings, get on to, uh, the search engine optimization stuff, work around uh, your website and get it optimized for a bunch of keywords so that it gi it'll give you, you know, some confidence your level will get boosted up. The way you have actually created across campaigns over here, I'm sure that would have boosted your confidence in your, in, you know, with regards to search and the display. Once we'll do the video also, which is tomorrow, your confidence will also get boosted up for the video part also with YouTube, with uh, search, with display and also with video. And then uh, the other part would be guys then would be uh, after that mobile marketing. In mobile marketing, uh, we'll learn how do we go ahead and create mobile apps, all right? So we'll, we'll learn how mobile apps have to be created plus how do we promote them across on the Google Display Network again, all right? So with the help of Google AdWords, how do we promote across our mobile apps? All right, so that's gonna be the next thing, guys, after we are done with the video ads. So I'll, I'll try my best to go ahead and get you across the websites this, this particular week, guys, within this week. And uh, because I, I can see that SEO is something which you guys haven't tried yet, right? Search engine, op have you guys done something with regards to search engine optimization? 
not yet, right? I can understand that. Till the time you do not have a website, you can't really go ahead and try that part. So what we do, we'll meet across tomorrow, uh, guys, and uh, we'll, we'll start with creation of the video ads. And once that's been done, we will we'll start with the mobile and this week we will I'll, I'll try to get you across the website so that you get the SU part being done. All right. Okay. Perfect. So thanks, Chitanya, and thank you, Goresh, uh, for joining in. We'll be meeting across tomorrow and we'll take it further from there. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.